Hi, this is Diane Tavija again. Today I'm working on my uh, wind chimes. And out of the four containers that I got shipped from Michael's, this is pretty much all that is not teeny tiny pieces. So I'm gonna do this one and then I'll also uh, kind of make it up on my own. Okay, I'm going to be swatting mosquitoes while we do this. It's fall in Georgia and there it's those Asian mosquitoes and boy do they hurt. So just ignore me if I'm waving. So what I've done here is I've, and I couldn't put them really according to colors because I had so few that were large and so few that were medium and so I just thought, well, you know, I'm going for the sound. Nobody's going to stand there saying, oh, there's two blues together. So I've uh, laid them out and I'll put the link to this pattern. I found it on uh, the internet and I'll put the link to it uh, on the uh, bottom of my, in my comment section so you can uh, look for that one or if you go online you can find so many so many uh, different styles so what I'm doing right now is I'm putting a little dab of the hot glue only because the um, it's really muggy and the E6000 takes a long time to dry anyhow and I want to make sure that I get the um, the wire, the uh, fishing line, caught in the E6000. Wouldn't do me any good if I did all this and they fell off, would it? And then when, the, when these are totally dry, I'm going to flip it over and do the other side with more fishing line. And we chose the 20 pound fishing line just because it gets, we get some pretty bad storms here and a lot of wind. Let's move that one over a little. So, you know, these things probably don't, won't, won't stay together for years and years, but I love the sound of wind chimes and I'm crazy. I love the sound of thunderstorms. I love to hear the birds early in the morning. It doesn't bother me that my neighbor's dogs hate the mailman. Mine are only quiet because my husband's got them locked up. And it's usually very quiet here, but I don't know who's driving that mail truck today. It's not the usual lady because that one's crazy loud. So, uh, as you can see, I have strings, and we'll get rid of those later. I'll let the wind do it for me. And then here's the E6000. Okay. Let me try to make sure I push down the fishing line as I go get it caught in there really well. It's kind of boring to watch, isn't it? So we live in a little town in Georgia that the name means gold city or city of gold we were actually the first uh, town where gold was discovered before the gold rush the and we still sit on the largest um, amount of gold in the United States but it's like lace and because it's like lace and so spread out, it would cost more to uh, mine it than the gold would be worth. So we have a little pine, let's see, pine something, 
gold museum here in town where you can go and see the story and see the remains of um, the houses that uh, some of the people who did strike it rich had. You know, a few people found, found enough gold to make it worth their while. And people still go and pan for gold. You can do that many places here in town. But um, honestly, it's just the dreamers, the get-rich-quick people who spend all their time doing that and nothing comes from it. So I'm doing this out on my deck because this glue does not smell nice. And I have no intention of getting ill from smelling gunk. So it's almost our anniversary. October the 10th will be 50 years. Can you believe that? I don't know how that can happen. I'm only 35. So. That can't really be true though, can it? Because my oldest son is... He was born in 1970. No, 71. We were married in 70. So. Now when I do the other side, I probably won't do the um, hot glue. I don't think that'll be necessary. So, I don't know if you can see my backyard or not. It goes up very steep. And we have, uh, we counted them one time, but we've, we've cut down uh, some of the smaller trees. We probably have about a hundred trees out there. And the leaves get oh so deep, but we have no grass. Absolutely, no, there's a little patch behind me, um, uh, way over toward the fence. But this is, um, this is just, uh, if we had, if we had known what we were getting into, we never would have bought this house. Because what we get is, even with the windows closed, I don't get dust. I get the red ash from hell, is what I tell people. Because we've got to be sitting over the portal to hell. Everything is red. You have to just constantly clean, um, you know, like the different vents and the window sills. I mean, with the windows closed, it gets in. And my one dog that's brown and white looks orange and white. And she doesn't like baths. And she's pretty heavy and it's hard to get her to bathe so she stays orange and white most of the time you'll see her later her name's Daisy we have Daisy May and um, Emmy Joe Emmy's a very tiny border collie so well I'm gonna let these dry and uh, go in the house so the mosquitoes don't eat me and then I'll come back and I'll flip these over and I'll remember to give you the link to this guy who does sea glass wind chimes crafts. So, um, I liked this one though, the way he does it. I'm going to put um, a dowel rod across the top and then feed the two uh, strands through um, the, a hole in the dowel rod and then uh, through a bead so we can keep it from slipping through. So hopefully this will dry soon and I can come back out and we'll finish chatting. Okay? Alright. I'm going to lean up and turn you off. Okay. It's dry. So I'm going to start with the uh, just the E6, E6000 on this side. And I'm going to do top and bottom. I'm doing it this way instead of going straight down. So 
so hopefully I won't get stuck in the glue. Ooh, that stinks. Should put some perfume in it. I think I wouldn't smell it so much outside. So today is Saturday, I think. It's really hard being stuck home for six months and a week um, to keep the day straight. I didn't have to take my thyroid medicine. I'd never know what day it was. Got a pill bottle, you know, pill box. The days of the week in it. It's really funny, I guess. I don't like having to take any medicine. Let's see. Straighten this little fella. Well, my husband's going to help me with the dowel rods. I wish I had more places to um, hang this. I do have a shepherd's hook over there that I'll probably end up putting it in. Uh, I'd like to have it where I can really hear it. I told you I like all kinds of sounds. Love the sounds of the birds. We have woodpeckers. We have loads of cardinals. Eastern bluebirds number of the gross beaks, um, titmouse, flycatcher, uh, used to have round-headed cowbirds. Now I haven't seen any in two years and I don't know why because they have a really nice call. Sometimes we get an owl and um, we used to have loads and loads of morning birds, morning doves. But I think what happened with them is they're ground feeders. And, you know, I have the two dogs. And they don't want to be around the dogs. So they don't, um, they don't come around like they used to. Most of the other birds are perch feeders, so, and I used to feed them expensive food, and all that did was encourage the squirrels. I try to feed the squirrels, and uh, they're not interested in squirrel food. Corn, suet, whatever, they want the nice bird seed. So if I put out uh, like a songbird feed, they throw everything else on the ground and they eat the, the fruit and the sunflower seeds. So I've started putting out just the cheaper food and I have a lot less birds. A lot less birds. So, but it's a dreary day. Uh, not much going on. So this has got to dry and then now uh, we'll do our drilling and uh, probably be tomorrow and so you'll know I won't wear the same clothes and I'll probably curl my hair <laughs> who knows who knows what I'm gonna do I don't know what I'm gonna do how could you okay so all I used here was the E6000 and my husband had helped me tape them down so uh, oh and I have this awesome lazy Susan this thing weighs a ton 
it has metal it has uh, stainless steel uh, ball bearings I wanted uh, a lazy Susan to make things easier to reach and uh, I looked on uh, Facebook marketplace and there was a woman right down the street who had remodeled her kitchen and she had bought it used when she was a newlywed and used it for spices under the counter and I mean it, it has no spots on it it looks it's solid wood and it's really really nice so I didn't even you know dick her price or anything uh, she paid, gave me uh, it was twenty dollars and I was happy so and it really it spins beautifully but it's a heavy one so uh, I'll keep it protected. I won't leave it out here. I'm going to set up a table out here for uh, pretty days to do my crafts. Um, and hopefully the mosquitoes will die down soon. I don't feel them bite me. But three hours from now I'll have all these little red dots that just itch like crazy. So, okay. I hope you're having a nice day. Find something fun to do. Uh, I'm thinking about doing some um, crafts for Christmas uh, to kind of help families that might be struggling. There's so many things that you can make for virtually nothing. And, you know, little kids don't know it's not... You tell them Santa made it in his workshop, they're going to be happy. Um, I did it over the years. Now there's stuff that's a lot of work, like stuffed animals. If you really do nice stuffed animals, they take quite a while. I'm not talking just, you know, something that's one seam and stuffed. Um, but my uh, son that I mentioned earlier, Scott, he has the... Uh, corduroy lion that I made him when he was probably five and it's um it's a golden color and then it has a big orange mane and a fluffy orange tail and uh, I don't remember what the other kids got the lion stuck out stuck in my mind and and it was the most difficult because of the mane and uh, then I made Raggedy Ann and Andy for uh, the kids, the, the, our daughter and son, Aaron and John, that are only 15 months apart. I made those, and they liked the little show, cartoon, uh, Raggedy Ann and Andy. It's a full-length full movie. Um, so I'd made that, and, I mean, you, you make every little hat, every little, you know, blouse, every everything, so... That's something that you start way in advance, but over the years, uh, I had made things like uh, some little dolls out of felt, and you can hand stitch them if you don't know how to sew or don't have a sewing machine, and it's uh, almost shaped like a gingerbread man, but the arms are not sticking out straight, and then I took felt, and I cut out clothes and glued them on and it was the old woman in the shoe and all of her children and then I did Noah's Ark. Uh, I did Noah and loads of animals and those were a big hit with my kids and it was stuff I could do after they went to bed at night. Um, there's also on the internet so many people who take a piece of furniture like a uh, an old nightstand and turn it into a, a kitchen stove for um, a three or four year old and I'm you know take a piece of furniture and buy a little bit of paint and make a kid happy uh, and you can go to Dollar Tree and get measuring spoons and plastic cups and you know put a cut a hole and put a dish pan in there and tell them they're washing dishes and um, you know, those type things are can be free uh, you might even have the paint laying around so 
I, I'm going to make up a list and um, make some samples or uh, pull out some of the ones that we still have and, uh, you know, maybe help some people who are, are dreading the season because they think they'll have nothing and yet uh, little becomes much. So, uh, let's, let's think about it. You might even have some suggestions. So, uh, but I'll talk to you soon. Let this dry. Uh, I don't smell it now. But uh, hopefully it'll make a nice, loud sound. You hear my water fountain behind me? <laughs> okay, guys. I'm going to go in. I'll talk to you later. Hang on. Okay. Hi guys. Well, the sun came out so everything dried very quickly and the mosquitoes are getting worse and worse. So I'm going to finish this up. What we've done is we took the dowel rod, we drilled the holes, and our Jim did. I keep saying we. And so now I'm going to feed these through the little holes that he put for me. And I'm going to tie these around a bead. So they won't, um, the thread won't go back, or the wire um, fish line won't go back through. So start that way, then going through the other side, can't really see what I'm saying, but uh, you'll figure it out. You might even come up with a better idea. So. So I'm tying three knots and then I'm going to, uh, after I show you uh, what it looks like, I'm going to uh, put some E6000 on it and lay it back down to let that little bit dry. Um, but I did want you to see it and try to finish this today. So here's another one. I didn't paint the dowel rod. I thought about it. That would have taken extra time and then I got some crazy paint colors as you can see by my um, patio chairs that we're gonna repaint um, and white and I, I didn't want it um, crazy colors if I had had something muted like the sea glass I could have done it maybe that color so we went up to the, uh, our Dollar Tree today, and you guys have it made. Our Dollar Tree is so small, most of the shelves are empty. They have a couple of Halloween things. They had maybe um, a couple of cups, one plate for Thanksgiving. Uh, none of the signs that you're getting. Um, really it's pitiful and it's it's always like that and it's a new store used to be right down the street from my house and uh, when they moved we were all excited because we thought it was going to be more like the one in the we call it the big city it's really not a big city but the town next to us it's about um, 20 some miles from us but it, they have a one way, and they, they have a larger uh, Dollar Tree. And, uh, but it's, you know, you get on the highway, and thankfully we didn't go today. The highway was shut down because of so many wrecks. But um, then you got to fight the traffic over there. So... We don't, we don't go there very often, but if I get desperate, I guess I will. We have a town and store, and a store in our town called Dollar Days, and it's owned by some friends of ours. But what they do is they buy uh, stuff at auctions, 
they've been there for years and years and I remember gosh maybe 10 years ago uh, I went in and they had John Deere lunch boxes for one dollar metal kids lunch boxes for one dollar well I thought this can't be right you know those things have got to be really worth something especially around here where there's so many uh, farms and everybody owns a truck except us we sold ours but I bought them and I put them on eBay and I sold them for $15 each so plus, plus shipping they had to pay their own shipping so um, but you know they don't they don't ship so it's not something I can give you an address to and then you never know what they're gonna have every Tuesday is uh, a different shipment we haven't gone there since uh, the virus started in fact I've been to Dollar Tree I think three times in six months and Walmart uh, maybe twice and other than that I went for a flu shot that was one of the Walmart trips and I've been for thyroid blood work and I don't know I don't think I've gone anywhere else in six months and seven days that's why I told you I'm going crazy <laughs> not really I'm not depressed or anything it's just bored stiff Okay, so like I told you, I've got these tied on really well. And after I show you what we got here, after we've signed off, I'll, um, I'll glue those both sides. I wanted to show you uh, this paper. This is <laughs> Forgive the bird dookie. I got this off the internet and I'll give you the uh, link to it. It's actually two pieces and then you just fold and tape and lay, you know, the largest pieces out to the smaller pieces. And um, I found that very helpful and very thankful to the person who uh, did that for us um, because I, you know, I'm pretty creative for some things, but I don't know. So, what do you think? Not bad for the first time, huh? Okay. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and visiting. And, uh, like I told you, I'm going to start thinking of some other things. Uh, I still have the flower pot to do, but um, I watched one woman do one, and it took her uh, seven or eight hours just to get the beads on, or the uh, baubles on. So that's a bit long for me, especially with the mosquitoes. So uh, I could do it in the house, I guess, but... Oh, no, that's the... E6000 and that stuff does it does have an odor and it says that the odor is dangerous so they want you to use a really well ventilated area so one day I'll show you all my other craft things I have and um, the scissors I told you about that are all different designs and shapes and I don't know if you've ever painted rocks I use uh, permanent markers and color rocks I have one in my front flower bed that I made it looks like a copperhead snake and I have it coming out from under the mulch. It's been there three or four years and it looks perfect. You can't tell that it's so old. Uh, and then I, I like coloring pages and I also knit. I used to knit quite a bit and I would, once I got about 25 scarves made, I would take them to the homeless shelter um, well, a church that helps the homeless in the next town. Uh, they go out into the woods and, and deliver 
uh, sandwiches and medical supplies to the men out there and it's not a safe place for women so um, I did that and uh, they were very appreciative so okay well listen guys it was nice seeing you today and I, I hope you'll keep checking in on me I promise not to ever pretend to be some great artist because I'm not <laughs> but let's have fun okay bye